want you to hear this. This has been going on all night long. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, and gals, if there's a gal out there, uh, let me know. I don't know if there's one. I mean, I know there's girl, gals out there, but not here out. Screw it. Alright, um, I wanted to show you with the, uh, with the uppy cam there. Take a look at this. Isn't that just gross? I have... I have never seen a... Um, I have never seen a rusted truss rod, but then this one was... submerged. Anyways, um, I have turned this, but nothing really happens. Except that, if you don't have it all the way tightened up. Woo -hoo, that was fun. I do this and like nothing happens. I do this and all I hear is creaky noises. I've got a lot of torn up fiber here on this end. Um, and just from the looks of it, I don't think I did this. I think this was kind of the way it, the way it was. Um, so anyways, um, I just got a little WD-40 and we're going to try the nice, nice way um, to see if we can't get this to somehow release. We're going to we're going to take the frets off of this. So these two side pieces of wood off of here. This one's already gone. Um, let's see if we can. I don't know. Maybe if we can leave that one on there. I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyways, um, so we can try and salvage this, and then we can, and then we'll refret it. So, um, yeah, but we got to get this done. Hey, look, the new. Notice the lack of a huge, hard, dark shadow now. Um, just because if you follow the Instagram or the Twitter or the Facebook, then you'll see that uh, today has been uh, light adjustment day messing around with, with lighting and I think I've got the lighting down a little bit better than what it was um, still working on white balance um, two different cameras two different systems uh, like a one two three four if I turn that one on I got four different colors of light bouncing into this thing so uh, yeah we'll get there so all right check back Hey, fun times with the truss rod. I got the truss rod nut off. I got the retainer plate off. And we are slowly but surely extracting the truss rod. Um, it is a nasty, nasty mess. Um, just all kinds of rust and such in there. Ah, that's nice. So much goo, rust and such in the bottom of this. 
that as I spin this backwards, it's kind of just, up till this point, has just threaded itself out of here. Now, part of what I'm going to have to do is right here, um, my guess is probably where it got torqued on at some point. This is coming up right here and coming up right here. So we're going to have to get this glued down and kind of solidified just so that the end of this can, can, uh, can bite in there a little better once we put it back in. And there we have it. One, three, old, rusty, glued up, this rock. Um, and a cap. Can you get down? Yes. So, all right, now we're going to try to get this channel cleaned up because there's like all kinds of goo down in there that is glue that is part of the truss rod itself more glue and when we glue this part up this is a little loose right here you see that maybe probably not this is a little um, a little loose right here. I'll try to inject some glue down in that and get this all solidified up again. And then we'll probably, probably just some steel wool, a little WD-40, and, uh, and this will be good to go. So, progress. Um, we're now sliding off the fingerboard. Um, Defretting the, uh, the Lazarus guitar. Um, Just because we can, um, we'll just soften, uh, soften it up a little bit, and then, uh, and then we just pull them into my, my fancy schmancy fret holder. Now, apparently, I'm going to be making instruments for some other planet because this goes up to, I don't know, 36 frets or something. Who knows? Nice and easy, nice and hot. All right, well, that wasn't too terribly bad. Um, in a perfect world, would we have liked to have had less chip out? Yes. In a perfect world, would we have found a guitar in the dump, broken and filled with water and mosquitoes? Negative. So, you know, we're doing all right. The, um, here's where, here, you can see we're got a nice little chip out there back here get my finger in the right place 
and then here on the zero, we kind of want it to. Just, it's really brittle, so yeah, that's uh, that's not bad. So now the binding piece is off on this side. So now we're going to uh, attempt the same thing. We're going to try to just apply some heat to this side and gently just pry this piece up. Um, This is not, this is plastic, it's not, it's not the wood. Secure your work kids. That's why there's the foil over the top of this. I was just hoping to keep the uh, finish. Looked like there was still some clear on it, but it was just the plastic. That would have made a freaking lovely mess, wouldn't it? I should probably get my own shop iron at some point. stock and one mangled piece of plastic later. Hmm, interesting. You can see you can see where they drilled down through the plastic to get the side dot markers in. I don't know why that's interesting. It, it is to me. <laughs> Easily amused. So, all right, now we'll just start cleaning it up. We're gonna get the glue off the back. We're gonna try to straighten the sides up a little bit and then we'll, um, yeah, we'll do something.